Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about playing Chrysler's Liebeslied. Not only is uh, Lewis Lied uh, something so charming and comes from a, an era that's sort of close to us but past, it's something that uh, belongs to my past. I've been playing it for so many decades. I think the key to playing Lewis Lied is really in the shifting. Um, it's quite subtle, but it's to allow the shifts to be heard a little bit. Uh, it just depends on your taste really, but it's when you hear it played and there's no, it's played in a very modern way, um, it loses a lot of charm. So there's a sort of way to let the fingers sort of slide into the, the, the next note, but it's sort of subtle, it's not, um, you know, you can do a little bit of that, but just make it a little more subtle. Now what I'm doing there is I'm letting my first finger come up and I'm letting that be heard a little bit. You see? Also, I ended up on a third there and I let that slide down a little bit and then go to the, the third finger. So. Uh, So although it's quite a, a nostalgic, it's a soft piece and and everything, your fingers have got to be right on top of the trills and the turns. So the next bit um, is a little bit firmer. I prefer doing the next bit, the top note, on the E string because it's brighter. Because later on I do a shift on the A string and it's a little bit more poignant, like this. I like those two colours, the first really lovely, um, brighter, and then, then do a nice lifted harmonic. And I've changed the bowing here where I go from um, the F natural to the C in one bow. So I can incorporate that lovely shift down like that. So that whole uh, section So I use the different strings, the lower strings, as a sort of contrast colour um, if you noticed, I went from the B on the A string and then So the next bit is a beautiful um, lifted uh, harmonic again And again that uh, bowing I've changed it to connecting the uh, the shift there like uh, Again, I've used the difference between the E string 
and the A string there. I really prefer the brightness of the E string at the beginning of that. And then another harmonic, a lifted one. have the beautiful um, octave uh, waiting slightly on the bottom E and then going to the top E. So um, this section sometimes can go a little flabby because as a matter of fact the, um, the dotted rhythms need to be really quite slick. So um, it can sound a little bit like this if you don't uh, keep up with the tempo. <laughs> a lot if you don't uh, make the dotted rhythms quite short really actually. So let's just start that section again. And I love that open string there. There's something sort of very sad about it. <laughs> so I've got my own feelings about, you know, um, how to do this piece, although it keeps on evolving all the time, you know. All right, so the next bit, uh, lifting the mood. So let's just talk about these lifted harmonics that you can use. It starts with a little uh, click, click bowing, and then lift it off, and it's really charming. So let's listen to the second part of the middle bit. So when you're doing the lifted harmonics, make sure you make a charming note straight away afterwards, okay? Don't land with a bump. Try and avoid that, okay? It's got to be quite controlled. Managed to spot when I was doing the first part of that, it's three uh, little sections answering each other, and the first one is more off, and the second one is a little bit more on, and the third one is even more on. As usual in Chrysler, we're just about to return to the first theme. And this is where you can take things more warmly, you can go up the string, um, you can pull it about a little bit more. Because it's a good idea not to do that at the beginning, because you're setting out the themes and the audience is hearing it for the first time. Now they're familiar with it and you're returning to it and it's even more loving and charming.
So let's talk about the uh, trill at the end. Um. And you've got to be very careful when you're going up to the harmonic at the end that you don't hit a lot of other harmonics. So it's a good idea to practice what your destination is going to be. So obviously everyone plays this piece in their own way, but I thought I'd let you know how I love this piece and how I play it and how I approach it. So I hope that you get on well with this fantastic piece and it can be a companion for life for you like it is for me. So I'll leave it there and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye. So here's my ancient copy of Liebeslied that my teacher gave me decades ago. I love this. It's even got the brown paper he covered it in. <laughs>